Welcome to the department for scooter enjoyment and scooter repair at the Cly Institute. Uh, recently, we had an issue with this, the 2001 Vespa GTS 300 HPE, high performance engine. The difference between this and previous models is a conformance to Euro 5 compliance. What that means, it is including the Right to Repair Act. So this includes onboard diagnostics too, similar to what is on modern automobiles today. In previous versions, you needed the Vespa uh, Piaggio pads system to communicate with the scooter and read the codes. Not so in this case. I discovered this. There's not a, been a lot of discussion about this recently, so I want to do a quick video, just show you what it's capable of, show the advantages. If the engine light happens to light, you're going to have to take your scooter to the dealership. They will charge you a hundred and some dollars just to read the code. If you can do this on your own, then you can do this beside the road, wherever you might be. So let's come in and, and look and see what we've got. The um, adapter is a standard onboard diagnostics adapter. It has the 16 pin connector. This one happens to have both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I mean, you, you can use a standard handheld tool. Uh, you don't have to use the Android interface, but this is what I've got. This is what I've been using. And in order to get between the 16 pin connector, the standard ODB2 for automobiles, and what is on the Piaggio products, both Moto Guzzi and Vespa, uh, the six pin connector. The connector, they don't tell you this really in the manual where it is. I'm gonna show you, let's open a seat. Take out the cargo carrier. Right up underneath the hinge, you see this red connector? Push it with your thumb, remove it. It says that there's a dummy in there to keep the dirt out of it. And you can see the six pin connector. The adapter plugs into the six pin connector. Your analyst tool plugs into the standard 16 pin. Uh, it will light up with power, but and uh, you know, but it's not going to do anything. I'm just going to temporarily close this and let it hang until we turn on the key on the scooter. It's going to go start looking for a PC connection. And uh, I have a, a tool up here from author Ian Hawkins. Uh, it's called Torque. There's a light version and also the pro version. Uh, demonstrating this on the Android. I'm just going to set that down here so we can get a good view of the screen without any glare. And... Um, so as you can go through, this is already connected. This, it's not a demonstration video of how to connect the, uh, the torque tool and use it, but you can, you can get these objects, uh, these display objects, you can move them around the screen, but it will tell you everything that's going on with your onboard diagnostic system too. Uh, clicking the gear icon brings up the menu. What we are interested in is fault codes. The top item is fault codes. You can show logged fault codes, clear fault codes. This is the only right message you can do to OBD2 with this. Uh, show pending faults, show historic faults. So if there are any historic faults in there, we'll see them. Look at ours, and it's probably gonna come up with none. Uh, saying at the bottom, no historic faults. I cleared them. There's nothing in there except the no two sensor. What happened to me? Um, and it's, I think, a common thing. If you overfuel, we, we all know the difficulty as GTS owners, how to overfuel this is very easy. So the fuel got down inside the evaporative uh, system here. It's, it's um, underneath here, uh, a charcoal canister. Uh, that filled with fuel and added that fuel already to the system and the O2 system. It couldn't compensate for that much fuel. It, this was completely flooded. I think that's what my problem was. Uh, once it dried out, uh, it was fine. So um, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, thank you again for listening and uh, keep the shiny side up.